first option for our ELA work this week. Uh, just as a reminder, don't worry about picking more than one option that's provided for you throughout the week for each subject. Um, I don't want you guys overworking yourselves during assessment time. So again, please only choose one option a week for each subject. A singular word would be like the word um, horse. There's only one horse. The word singular means just one single thing, horse. Okay? I'll put an S for singular. All right, when we're talking about plural words, we're talking about more than one. So I'll just put a big P for plural. All right, so a plural word, let's use horse again, but we're gonna say more than one horse, and that word is horses, right? So that's a quick refresher on what singular and plural mean. Um, let's go ahead and look at their examples they give us. So this tells us that a noun shows a noun that shows ownership is a possessive noun. To turn a singular noun into a possessive noun, add an apostrophe and add an s. Example: The boy's wagon is in the garage. See how they put an apostrophe and then an s? It's one boy. They said, "Oh, we need to put an apostrophe and an s to show that it's his wagon." Okay. The other part right here it says to turn a plural noun that ends in s into a possessive noun, add an apostrophe after the s. So it doesn't go before the s like this one, it goes after the s. So let's look at their example. The farmer painted horses stables, right? Apostrophe goes after the s. To turn a plural noun that does not end in s into a possessive noun, add an apostrophe and an s. So an example, the women's hats were beautiful. More than one woman, more than one hat, and they're talking about it and they're saying it's beautiful. They were, they were beautiful. So they put an apostrophe and then an S. This is plural right here because if it wasn't plural, it would say woman with an A right here, but it has an E. That's more than one woman and that's women. And um, that's a plural word, but we still add an apostrophe S apostrophe and an S after the apostrophe because this does not end in an S. So let's go ahead and look at this. I'm going to um, just erase some of the work that I put up here. And then what we'll do is start on number one together. Okay. Number one, we have the sentence, my blank has a flat tire. Whose bike is it? It's the brother's bike. We're going to add this word into the empty space, but we need to figure out how to add it first. So we want to say my brother's bike has a flat tire. Let's just go ahead and write brother to begin. We already know that they're not talking about more than one brother. We have one brother in this situation, right? Okay. We have one brother. I'm just going to get this out of the way. And he has a flat tire on his bike. To show that he owns the bike, we have to add an apostrophe first, right? An apostrophe shows um, any type of possessiveness. We're going to say he owns it. Brothers. So we have brother apostrophe S for number one. My brother's bike had a flat tire. The second one over here, we have the word girls. Now keep in mind, this word ends in an S already, okay? So let's use this carefully. The girls' rooms are going to be cleaned today. The word rooms tells us that there are more than one, there is more than one girl with more than one room. So the way we write this is girls, we just keep the exact word they gave us, but to show that somebody owns the room, we have to put the apostrophe somewhere. So let's go ahead and write our apostrophe right here. Do we need to add an S if it already ends in an S? No, that would make no sense. There's too many S's in that case. So all you do is add an apostrophe. And this is how you're going to complete this exercise. If you need any assistance with this, you can always reach out to me through email, text message, or phone call, and I'll be here for you. Have a great week.